Welcome back guys. Today this video is going to be talking about tips, specifically the Schwab SCHP and the Vanguard V-tip differences. So why tips? TIPS stands for Treasury Inflation Protected Securities and can help protect against inflation because it's tied to the Consumer Price Index, which tracks the prices paid by US consumers. So the value of TIPS principle is adjusted up and if the Consumer Price Index rises, for example, if inflation rises, the bondholder receives a higher coupon payment. And inflation for 2021 came from the fiscal stimulus and the rush of pent up demand from consumers. Now let's take a look over at Morningstar. And the first thing we are gonna look at is the expense ratio. Now let me select, let's see, Vanguard Shark Crime Inflation Protective Security. Actually, I'm gonna do this a little bit out of order. Before I look at the expense ratio, I wanna explain the differences between these funds due to its portfolio. So let's take a look at the differences that Morningstar highlights between these two funds. And for a CHP, we have this little grid box here. And to the left, we have the credit quality where low is the lowest, high is the highest. And to the top, we have the duration of the maturity with moderate being between 3.5 years to six years. A uh, quick example, if, you, if I said, hey, lend me $100 and I would pay you interest every year, and then at the end of 10 years, I would pay you back the entire $100, right? Now, there's some risk, you know, in me holding the $100 for that long. Something could happen to me, or I could gamble the $100 away and lose it and you want to get your money back. So you might want to ask for a higher interest payment versus if I were to hold it for just a month or so. So generally you expect a higher um, interest payment with, with the duration of, the, of the, the bond. So for VTIP, it's classified as limited, which has which where bonds have a maturity of about 3.5 years or less. Now, and if we go to, I'm gonna go to the, the Vanguard's website for VTIP and the Schraub's website for SCHP. And we see that the average maturity is about eight years. So there's a little bit more risk in holding it longer. So you would expect a higher um, interest payment. And, Let's see, for VTIP, it's 2.5 years, so there's a little bit less risk. So you shouldn't expect a higher interest rate. And we can see that reflected here. So yield to maturity is 0.08% for VTIP, and the average yield to maturity is 1.28 for SCHP. Now let's head back over to Morningstar and Usually I would start out with the expense ratio, but we just took a quick detour. And for, let's see, the tip, the expense ratio is 0.4%, which is pretty low. And typically I look for funds with low expense ratios because the expense ratio makes up what the fund manager takes as an expense and a fee to manage the fund. And it has the effect of eroding the growth potential of the fund because you're essentially taking money out of the assets of the fund. So the SCHP is at 0 0.05, so it's relatively close. Now, if you were to invest $10,000 into this fund and let it sit for 10 years at once with no additional contribution, you would expect the SCHP to Let's see, go to 12,970. And similarly, the VTIP would be, would grow to 1,200, 12,100 no, 11,649. And this is over the course of 10 years. So the VTIP underperformed its index that it's seeking to follow. But it's 
but it's still relatively close, but nonetheless, it still unperformed that, especially when compared to the SCHP, which overperformed or outperformed this index. And typically these funds try to get similar results as their index that they're following. Now let's go back over to the portfolio page. For the SCHP, we see that 99.8% yes, is invested into fixed income, very little into cash and 93.23 for VTIP is invested into fixed income with 6.7% left over in cash. Both government bonds. And if we go on the holdings, there isn't too much detail here. It pretty much just says US states treasury notes. <laughs> um, and with that, I'm going to end the video here. And if you stay with me this long, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember to stay the course.